Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I've got three stories to share this morning. Uh, but before we get started, I wanted to announce our biggest giveaway yet. Uh, we launched just yesterday on Instagram, the 12 Days of Drone Giveaways. Uh, so it started yesterday. It's running through December 16th. Each weekday, we will post a new giveaway item. Details on how to enter will be included in each caption, and the winners will ultimately be announced uh, on Instagram December 19th. So make sure to check out our Instagram account linked below so you have a chance of winning some awesome prizes like the Skydio 2 Plus, the DJI Avada, uh, some other really cool stuff. So make sure to uh, check out our Instagram account. All right, let's dive into our first story. DJI released the O3 Air FPV unit, which is a camera and video transmission system made for first-person view or FPV flying and videography. Between the DJI FPV drone, the DJI Avada drone, and the improvements in these transmission systems like the O3 Air, which is designed to be used uh, on other FPV drone frames, DJI is clearly cementing their place in the FPV side of the drone industry. The big update with this unit here is that the O3 Air isn't just a transmission system. It comes with its own camera with some pretty nice specs that we're going to throw on the screen here. The camera sensor is large enough to make it decent and low light and capturing high dynamic range. It can shoot in D cine like which provides more creative freedom when it comes to color grading. And you have the option to either use the built-in stabilization or to stabilize your footage in post-production on your own. Here's to hopefully seeing some more incredible FPV footage in the coming months. During a Christmas-themed drone light show in Australia, 50 drones fell from the sky in less than a few minutes. Thankfully, no one was hurt by the falling drones, but they were lost for good. They cost their drone owner, Drone Sky Show, a total of around $100,000. The light show had about 500 drones total, so about 10% of them malfunctioned all around the same time. Uh, they're still looking into it. They're not quite sure what happened. Uh, a scary situation for sure, but glad no one was injured. Lastly, I want to show you a unique tour of DJI's newest HQ, Sky City in Shenzhen, China. I would expect nothing less uh, from DJI than to unveil its new headquarters by giving us an FPV drone tour. We shared some photos a couple months back. It's only a matter of time before they created a fly-through showing off the new building. It took them six years to build this massive building, and it includes two high-rises. Check out the link below to watch the full tour. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, uh, check out the links below to read more about each story. Uh, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. And uh, now I'll pass it off to you. What do you think of the O3 Air FPV uh, unit, uh, DJI's new headquarters? What about the drone light show? Uh, comment down below, love to hear your thoughts. I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, wishing all of you drone pilots out there blue skies and safe flying.